Hello, I hope you're doing swell and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Alexis. I would love it if you stuck around. So we have this series that's going on currently on my channel where we're doing like Let's Make Over the Townies. It was definitely inspired by Let's Make Over the Worlds by Devin Bumpkin. So I'll have his channel linked down below because he goes through all the worlds, create all these elaborate storytelling characters and everything along those lines. So this series is definitely inspired by him. But today on our series of making over the townies, I thought that we would actually do Johnny Zest. So in the last previous episodes, we've been kind of doing some updates over in Oasis Springs. So in case you haven't seen any of the other videos, let me give you a quick rundown. The previous episode, we did the pancakes. So usually in part one, we do a cast makeover. And then in part two, we go and renovate their house. So we've done the pancakes. We've done the Spencer Kim Lewis household. We also did um, another household, the Nair, which was a story progression house. And I feel like we've done somebody else, but I could be mistaken. I feel like we've done quite a few, but I really want to do something a little bit smaller because we've been doing a lot of bigger houses. So today we're gonna make over our boy Johnny Zest because he definitely needs a good makeover. And if you are familiar with any of the Sims lore, basically Johnny Zest used to be a land grab and then he got disowned. So he wants to be a comedian and then like the limelight. So he moved over to this little trailer so he can like practice on his talent. So anywho, he's a stand-up comedian and today we're gonna be doing his much needed updated cast makeover. So he currently has the joke star aspirations. He's gregarious, a goofball, outgoing, and he's also ambitious. So here's Johnny Zest. So if you're not familiar with the series that we got, usually we do the first outfit together and then I go in and update the rest of the outfits. But let's go ahead and take a look. So this is his everyday outfit, his formal, athletic, sleepwear, party wear, swimwear, hot weather, oh my gosh, and then cold weather outfit. So I think for Johnny, I'm gonna keep something a little bit similar like I typically do, but let's remove like his shoes and his top and stuff. I wanna make him a little bit more full because I feel like a lot of the uh, original townies, they're kind of just straight down. So I wanna give them a little bit more differentiating body types. Also his feet look very big for his little stature and he looks like he's pretty athletic maybe just because he is a little bit slim but I'm gonna make him a little bit more yeah something like this and let's make his posture a little bit better as well because I feel like if he's in the limelight he's very like cautious of his body image as well so we're just gonna have him a little bit jacked and yeah I think that looks pretty good so let's go in with his face because um, I currently, I don't like the little goatee, if I'm being honest. The goatee is not my favorite uh, whatsoever. I think it was a part of the style back then, but for right now it is not. It's not doing what it needs to do. So we're gonna get rid of that. But maybe we can do like a little mustache situation. Like that, that could work. Or let's see a beard. That just makes him look a little bit older than I want. We can do something like that though. Let's go in with his jaw. I don't want to make him over too much, but I do want to kind of fill his face out just a hair. We can do something like that and then match his hair. And then I want to go for some shorter hairstyles. So I'm going to go ahead and filter by short. And then we have a bunch of like updated ones from PAX. So, ooh, wait, I kind of like that one a lot. He looks really handsome. So we could do that. I think I wanna just go with that. We could do something long like that with the little curlies. Something like that. I feel like his neck. We need to make his neck a little bit more. I think I'm kinda of obsessed with that first hair I saw. So let's go ahead and do that because he is a young adult. So I like the little tossed curls. I think those are really pretty. So we're gonna do that for Johnny. And I like his face details. I don't think I'm gonna change anything about that. He did have a mole though, so. I don't, oh, his beard is taking it up. Okay, so yeah, his beard is in the way of the mole. So let's just remove his mole and then put it somewhere else. We'll just add it to his cheek instead. He doesn't have any birthmarks, so let's just keep it that way. So there is Johnny, cute, cute, cute. So he is very professional. So he had blue, 
I just want to be a little bit more younger. That's the thing. So we're going to filter by balloon. He had like a button up and a, a like blazer on top. But we can do something like that. That's a little bit more younger. Or something like that. That's kind of cute. <clears throat> Ooh, maybe we can do this for like his formal wear. Yeah, I think I want his everyday outfit to be a little bit more casual. Let's go back up because I really liked this one that I saw pretty far. Not that one. It was this one. I, I think I like that. And then we'll just put some regular schmegular blue jeans on because they don't have many options for the men. So we'll do it in that lighter color. And then I'm going to toss some little socks on them. Just some white socks. And then for shoes, we could do some boots. Maybe change the color to be a little bit darker. I think that's about it. Men are pretty easy in The Sims. So this is what Johnny Zest is looking like for his everyday. And I'm going to go in and actually update the rest of his outfits. And then we're going to do a final fashion show. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished Johnny and it didn't take me long at all, but these are Johnny's outfits. So this is every day. It still looks pretty nice, but it does give him like that cool boy vibes that I imagine like actors and stuff have. So this is his everyday outfit. For his formal, I kept it pretty much the same. I just wanted to change up some of his colors. So his outfits are very classic and he has a few casual ones as well. But since he comes from like a very well-off family, I imagine he had a bunch of clothes he kind of brought home with him when he left the land grab family. So this is his formal every day, just some slacks, a button down and a gold watch. And I also put some cowboy boots on him as well because I just feel like that is just a really cute outfit. So that's his formal. For his athletic, I kept it pretty casual as well. Just a bunch of like random combinations because what he had on was very random as well. So I kind of kept that, but I wanted to be a little bit more color cohesive. For his sleepwear, I kept the pants, but I added some little slippers and this little beige top. And I like the way that turned out for his party wear. So it's a little bit different because I usually don't use this top from Paranormal. And I definitely don't use these pants from Vampire. But for some reason, they looked really well together. So he just has a very bold and loud outfit for party wear. But I think it fits his personality. And then maybe as well for some of his gigs, he actually wears this. And I put some little boots on him as well. Then for his swimwear, I just made it black and sleek, just kind of going with like the color palette that he has right now. Very neutral, very sleek and basic colors, except for like the party one you just saw. For his hot weather, I never use his polo. I think it might be base game if I'm not mistaken. But this is my first time actually seeing it and I thought it fit his vibe very well. So I just put like this little mustard orange polo, some pants from Eco Lifestyle, and then some Converse and then that gold watch as well. Then last but not least, we have his winter outfit. I think this is, oh, Seasons. I really like the way this looks because it looks like something that he would have had when he lived back home. So he probably just packed that up. Even though he lives in Oasis Springs, they it's pretty much the desert there all the time. So he probably won't get much wear out of this, but he might decide to move to the city. So I did want to give him a nice like coat to wear in San Myshuno if he decides to move there. And then his pants, oh, they're Jungle Adventure. So these are some newish pants that I've gotten in my game. And then his boots are from Jungle Adventure as well. But that is Johnny Zest. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with this quick video today. I'll have some playlists linked down below of some current challenges as well as the Horse Ranch Let's Play that we're currently playing over on my channel. But until next time, I hope you're doing swell and I will see you very soon. Bye!